Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. So this will be another relatively short video but today what I'd like to do is to have a look at what I've been doing with the applied energistics mod. I've actually done a few things but and I'm not going to go through very much of it because a lot of it is com is been done a lot of times in videos around the internet and by people much better than me who know much more about it. So what I did of course I've set up this pattern terminal and an ME interface terminal for the patterns and here I've got a simple crafting terminal which I'll probably move to over here but behind here what I did of course I've got some smart cables too is I changed the cable, the wire well, the ducting around here shall we say and what I've done now is I've taken got two let me just dig a hole a bit here we can see what I've done go in the hole. I still can't see it. So hopefully I can go down one more. Right, here we go. So here we have on the bottom of this storage drawer controller I put an ME storage bus. Nothing, just a straightforward ME storage bus. And then took and the bottom was a good place to do it because it didn't take any sides. So I first of all didn't do it on the bottom, I did it on the top. And here I changed the ducting. So what you see here is the ducting goes in here and I have a dense uh, impulse a dense impulse item duct here and into here so therefore the first choice is straight into here as you see lots of actually nether walls are going into there because I produced uh, I did some I moved my ender quarry to the nether and I got lots of ender I'm getting under uh, quite a few uh, ores and of course because I've got let me just get this so I want to get this I'll put this back And what I've got, right, there we go, is a silk touch. See, this one's actually now full, so I can't get any more uh, uh, connections on there without going to a different bus, which is fine. I think I've got all I need here anyway, maybe more than I need. I could move stuff downstairs if I wanted to. So in here, you've got this storage drawers so connected here to the ME bus. So, for example, Let's have a look, something sensible. Here we have, on this drawer, here we have, uh, who is it now? Big Bad Chris's Head. Okay, now I should be able to see in here, Big Bad Chris's Head. So one Big Bad Chris's Head. So if I take him out of the storage drawers, or here, take him out of here, he's disappeared from the storage drawers. Let's put him back again. Put him back here. I can put him back here. Oh no, I can't put him back there because only one of them. And now we should see there he is back again. So everything in this uh, set of storage tools is connected. So gas tiers. Let's have a look. How many gas tiers have we got? Fifty-six. Not a bad number. Here I've got. I don't even know it's gas. Um, I don't have any here. Okay, put the gas tiers back again. We should have 56 gas tiers coming up here. I think it takes a few seconds actually before you actually see them coming through. Nope, I'm not seeing them. I should do. Oh, there they are. There we are. Blind. So they're 56, take half of them out, so I've got 28 here. And I should have 28 here, which I have. So simply right click here again, and I've lost all of those. But also, I want to lose my arrow. I need to take my arrow back again. Because I need one arrow for the bow. In fact, I've put the arrow, normally put the arrows there so I don't use the space up. So this bow now has got power 5, infinity flame, and so on and so forth. I showed you that last time. And let's go downstairs. What I need to do is I need to do some auto, more auto crafting. What I did here, as I said, I've got quite a few molecular assemblers, not realizing that they actually, I need one. But you got everything 
goes a little bit faster with more. So I've got four, I think, and quite a few ME storage buses. And here as the sort of storage, crafting storage. So I've got 4K, a coprocessor, a 16K. So I have a reasonable amount of capacity. But what I did change, more importantly for me, was the, the processing of these, because the advantage here is I'm only using two channels to use these inscribers. So what I changed is I changed this, the whole of this process. So it, they all follow the same pattern. So here I have a, a check to see whether or not the, the iron chest has uh, silicon. If it does, then it's true, and it goes to input. So it takes from the iron chest silicon. I shouldn't look at that. Anyway. And what it does is it puts that into the first inscriber, which is the one that produces silicon prints. And no blacklist on the output, so it outputs everything straight into there. And the same with the engineering press, does exactly the same, has a diamond, takes it in from the chest, one diamond, and puts it into the second inscriber. So they all follow the same process until we get to extract circuit. And here it's a little bit different, but not much. It's checking these four inscribers here. And it's looking for any of these items. And, it, and it, what it does then is it takes that and puts it in into the wooden chest. The wooden chest, before I was taking and putting it into the end inscriber, the wooden chest, what the wooden chest does is it puts it back, it's got an ME import bus on it, and so it puts it back into the ME system. So we end up with simply processing plates. And then the last one is to produce a processor. And here I've split it up. So I've created a flow, and it's got, has it got redstone, has it got silicon, has it got a circuit? So pretty obvious what those do. So inventory checks them. The iron chest, which is the one with the storage, storage uh, import bus on, I think. If it has, then it goes. Oops, don't want the target. Targets aren't important in this. Well, the R in the inscribers, but not here. So it checks if it's got any printed circuit. If it has, then it sticks it into the. And this is where it's important on the, the set, on the processor. So it's on the on the last one or the end one, it puts in, uh, it gets difficult to see here, one of these circuits. And the same with silicon, in this case, it's just getting a silicon circuit, and it's putting that on the top inventory in this one. Uh, redstone should go, it's the same thing. It has it got redstone in the metal in the iron chest if it has it will put it in the middle of in fact the middle can be any of these side targets what is doing inventory so it's putting it in the middle of that inventory so what happens it goes through create this one's creating silicon the other three are creating the the real circuits and then at the end we have the processor and there's a blank the blank will be a bus i think if you look at back here it was i think i can't quite see because it's items oh, here you are this is this one it's an e cable or bus so there's a applied logistics cable around somewhere and the very last one of these was to get the processor, so it's a straightforward trigger, time trigger, inventory, so it's the end one, and of course, oh, the inputs, right? And the target is any of the sides, so if, when it's been processed, it comes out the side, and the item is any one of these processors. And of course, what it then does is simply put it back into the 
the wooden chest which has then got the ME put import bus and it's back into the system so that's how that was a bit cleaner and really that's it I need to do some more work around here to tidy up this bit and to automate this pretty straightforward similar principle I'll use the machine inventory manager again to create charged uh, SERTA squats. The other thing I did is to add a few of these wireless powered lights from um, under I.O. They cover quite a large area. You see I've removed quite a few of these torches around here. There's a second one here. Because they produce uh, considerably more than the seven blocks of lights. These two chests are completely full. Doesn't really matter because everything in here is over elsewhere. So here I've got an efficiency one, two efficiency one sharpness, one box. So it's enchanted books. I don't normally keep those in there, so I'll take those out of here. I think if I can, that is. I haven't got enough space. Hmm. And I normally keep those upstairs in the in the chest. Let's go back up to that one. Uh, Doors. Quickest way to get there is actually go through the front door, go down one. Oops, I've gone up. Ah, oh, yes. What else I've done is to increase the uh, energy here for these redstone solar panels, which produce a lot more power. They produce, uh, I think, 64. If I press shift, of course, I go straight down again. So what I do is go around here. Oh, what else I did is I also added a liquid. Um, upgrade to the ender quarry so I'm getting out of here liquids as well in this particular case I'm getting quite a lot of lava I've got one million buckets from this particular quarry I'll have to find something to do with that lava other than the tinker's construct what was I doing ah a wasn't I yes I was putting the books back potions Enchanted books I shall keep in. This, no, I can't really keep them that just full, isn't it? So let's give it a couple. Let's put some in here. Full. Got some bookshelves. I have a lot of these. I think there's a bit of space in here. Ah, there we go. So, not very well sorted. I have to sort them out. There's another bookshelf here with books in it. Enchanted, of course, because you can't put black books in there at all. Ah, the A system. That's what the purpose of today is, really, isn't it? Getting a bit distracted. I've got these encoded patterns. These are the old encoded patterns for that. And this was a, a duplicate. For some reason, I managed to make a duplicate. So, if I get rid of that one, I just press shift, right click on it. And it makes a blank pattern out of it, which I want to do for the others as well. There's no point in keeping these anymore. And of course, now this stack. But I was very pleased with the, being able to link those storage drawers in. That's really quite nice. Just one storage drawer. I'll put those up here the next auto crafting so what I'd like to do next is to make some more um, do some quantum armor I think it'll probably be quite a tedious process but I now have quite a lot of UU matter nearly eight, nearly eight buckets and it takes I think one bucket will produce about eight iridium ores 125 isn't it okay well I hope you enjoyed that until next time, bye for now.